All right, well, we're here in uh, Feed the Beast. And apparently pressing numpad zero, which is my recording hotkey, is also some function in this Feed the Beast pack. I use numlock. Right. Well, I don't, so there. I'm going to have to leave these rubber trees, but I hope we can get some saplings. We're going to need so much rubber. It's been so long since I played Feed the Beast, but I remember needing a lot of rubber. Uh, oh, do so, we have tree capitator in this? I don't think so. Oh. I. Th well, we're gonna have to make some axes and test on various and sundry trees. But uh, also, I guess we should find somewhere that we think looks nice to build a base, or some place where we can survive the night. Well, yeah. I'm just looking around to try and find some form of wood. Eh. I'm still in creative mode. That's why I wasn't getting shit, because I put it Here's in... Here's a spruce. Mm -hmm. Zero. There you go. Game mode zero. I, I don't think spruce is particularly important. No. Here's more rubber. Here's spruce, yeah. Grab all the spruce. Ah, oh, we both got wood. Oh, uh... Fan fiction. I mean, uh, it doesn't bother me. Like you said... It doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the, there's a 50-50 chance that it would be about you or me and you or me and Rob, and that's what bothers me. Well, yeah. Because if I knew it was about that, I would be like, ha, go find it, mail link to Angel. Because <laughs> she still says she wants to read it to see if it will destroy her soul. But, um... What soul? Yeah. No, no, she's a very nice person. She probably has a soul. No, no, she's not. Um, she's nice to me. Yeah, and that's all that matters, ain't it? That's what yeah. I keep trying to tell her. She's like, I'm a bad person. I'm like, well, not to me. I don't care what you do or say to other people. They can go to hell. I, I had um, one of those moments today where I realized I was, or I'm not dating a nor very normal female. Uh huh. Because I got contacted by a friend of mine who I haven't talked to in a very long time. A very good friend, you know, Kat. She's really nice, really sweet, cute as a button. Uh huh. And I sat here talking to her, smiling, giggling on like Facebook because she's got a funny sense of humor. And I view her as like a sister. Uh huh. And then I turn around and, you know, I'm like, yeah, my friend Kat wants to hang out with me. We thought we would go out to dinner sometime and blah, blah. Realized that I'm saying this to my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we're friends. We're just friends. I mean, that's, you know, blah. And she just goes, I know. <laughs> like, oh, uh, okay. Like, fuck's sake, I know you're not going to cheat on me and I know you're specifically not going to cheat on me while planning it in front of me. Like, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> like, you're not that retarded. I know it's just a friend. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. That's good. Hmm. Uh, she is one of those people who, I mean, she is cute as a goddamn button, but... Like, with, I'd say, any chance of there being any sort of crush on her ended within minutes of actually meeting her. And I was like, oh, you're not crazy, but you could be. <laughs> That's weird. Intermittently when I break dirt, I'm not getting a dirt block. Hmm. It's probably serious lag. Well, no, it's because it's not like the, it ever pops up later. It's just gone. All right. Where is UB? I'm on top of a hill. Uh, it's probably the one I just climbed down. I also don't know if uh, the thing I disabled from last time will still be working or not. What? The thing. Uh, the clip. 20 minute thing. I f tried to reactivate it. Don't know if I did. Okay, we don't have tree capitated, but we can actually throw that in and get it working. But it'll only work on standard trees unless we add code in by hand. I've done that before. I'm not a fan. No, me neither. I actually, um, when we had that one biomes mod we used for a while, I actually wrote the um, definitions file for that and put it on the forums for the... Uh, I think for the biomes mod author to distribute. 
dead leaf pile. Well, I'm a dead leaf pile inside, so. I'm pretty sure all the wood blocks I broke popped into, you know, wood blocks. Uh huh. I wonder if there's just something about the dirt where it doesn't. Well, I'm heading up to where you are, hopefully. Yeah, there you are. Where are you digging? Just dig some dirt, it doesn't matter. It's popping for me, so it's probably. Just dig a few. Yeah, I'm picking up dirt. Are you seeing these blocks? Yeah. Okay. You dig a couple and see what happens. Didn't get one from that one. Or that one. Or that one. That one I know. Okay, yeah, you're not dropping blocks of dirt. Yeah, I, I notice. Well, that's weird. I mean, it's not particularly harmful. What if I want dirt? Well, that's your problem. I mean... I can make it your problem. Here's can... one. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, there you go. I, I say... dug about 30 uh, blocks of dirt at least and have 11 to show for it. Come on, give me a rubber tree sapling. We're going to have to collect a whole fuck ton of those. James. Hmm? Cast your view in this direction. Hold on. Is it the pink tree you're staring at or the ta- Well, there's a tower over there. There's a few towers over there, actually. We're going that way. Yeah, but not this way. Huh? Oh. Uh, drop, isn't it? There's places. I guess it's not so bad. Or I'm just so lagged, I'm not registering damage yet. I didn't take any damage. Uh, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna yeah, stop. Yeah, no, I'm not that. I'm not that lagged. I just. I'm gonna stop and make a sword just in case. Let me do the smart thing. And do the Bartman. No, wait. That's never the smart thing. Do the Bartman. Do the ba 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 Bart. Chicken! Oh god, it's doing that thing where they die in horrible agony and it's terrifying. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. Apparently, this is a. Block Leaves name tree. Oh. Huh. Well, it looks like we found our home regardless. Hey, there's a beehive. Bees? Bees? Hey, this bird has a hat. I keep forgetting bird that. Hat. I mean, it's all famous YouTubers and shit, right? Uh, so I don't care that I much. I think you can change that into config files. Oh, it's a, it's a village with special houses. And signs above doors. This is an apothecary. There's a blacksmith. I'm gonna steal everything. Okay, this is a blacksmith who half of his shop is in crude oil. Oh, well, he's probably not in business anymore. I found steel pants. Well, of course they're steel pants. You just took them. Okay. There's a villager here who may be a football player sitting in the crude oil. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I mean, look. Down there, he's like football-y. Oh. So, did you leave anything in the shop? Um, no. I have pants. There were pants, tin ingots, and a pile of ash. Oh, shit. There's one of the industrial forges right here. Complete. So we don't have to gather all the ridiculous amount of materials to make one. Okay. Now we just need some shelter. Well, uh... Man, this shit generated funny. And there's another villager. Okay, there are village guards. Hey, there's a chest up here. You can take this iron sword or bow if you want. The uh, sword's more immediately useful. Yeah. I think those guards will actually attack us if we attack them. Okay, so, I have no particular need to attack them. Kind of wanna, but not yet. We'd probably actually be safe up here in this tower. Yeah. It's lit and, I mean... I'm right. going to spawn on top and drop in on us. So this lo is looking to me like it's going to be our home base. Well, let's take this some effort. <laughs> yeah, especially because look at that castle over there. That looks neat. Um, It's to the thing over there. I mean, it's sort of a castle, I think. There's a chicken on top of it with a strange hat. 
So that's is important. Is that supposed to be a castle, or is that just some weird conglomeration of buildings? I think it's actually supposed to be a single structure. So, let me... I'm going to be... I want to kill this villager. I really do. <sighs> that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I'm not going to. Or if you want to, do it from up here and break out the top ladder first. Yeah, that's true. But it might make every guard in the village hostile to me. Well, okay, that's fine. You might want to back off in case... In case you swing wildly. Right, well, I can't hit a single goddamn one of these motherfuckers, so I'm probably going to have to knock out one of these. Alright. Somebody's shooting at you. They're trying to. Did I kill him? It's hard to fucking tell. I think he succeeded in that shot. I mean, they're actually dying, and it's slow, but there we go. I absorbed his soul or something. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. It's creepy as fuck. All right. I haven't... Ah, oh, there's last asshole. I want to just kill these villagers anyway, because... All right, did they drop anything? They dropped... An arrow! Well, I'll take that bow now. <laughs> I'm put stuff in this chest here. That's not even the right rubber. Which is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, let me put that ladder back up. And I guess you got both of the uh, instruction booklets. Yeah. I found that. World Domination with Open Blocks and Materials in You, Volume 1. Uh. Eh. There is that. Alright, so we've definitely made ourselves a nice home and enemies, so. It's... You've made enemies. I'm fine. I'm gonna head down and see if I can find anything. Great. Well, I mean, bed related mostly. Hi, villager. Are you shooting at me? Yeah, I made enemies of everyone in the village. This is awkward. So silly. Hey, leather armor. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find bed materials. Well, probably. Nine. Usually. Uh, I mean, honestly, killing the guards was a really big mistake because they probably keep monsters at bay. I don't know why. You started doing that. I can't really tell from here, but I think there's a villager trapped in the cauldron. Yeah, there is, and oddly, well, last time I remember using that mod, filling it with liquid metal will not actually harm him, sadly. That's strange. And, you know, sad, considering... It considering would be, you want to harm him. Well, all villagers in general. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a gigantic cave symbol system under here. I would suggest not going into that at this point. Oh, no. What in the hell? What? There's... I don't even know what's going on here. Coven Witch. You die. Oh. Yeah, I wonder about that. These villagers were, like, laying on the ground in a terrifying, terrifying way. And, uh, like, they were laying on the ground with their torsos intersecting each other, but their torsos spinning in circles and the rest of them holding still. I don't believe you. Well, it's on video, thankfully. It was absolutely, f you know, fucking terrifying. What the hell is this? Okay, there's a cauldron in the floor of whatever building this is. Uh, uh, someone's attacking me. Probably another villager. That's you know, valid, honestly. Act honestly, this town seems pretty well lit up. Yeah. I don't actually detect anything hostile. Are we in peaceful mode? I do not believe so. Might want to double check that. We are in peaceful mode. 
I haven't uh, gotten hungry the whole time so far. I just yeah, I just realized when you said that. I was like, hey. And right, I'm going to come back up that tower now. Yeah. Good, Until... we spent most of the first episode of this cheating. Well, wait. I blame you. Oh, well, that's accurate. Rightly so. We're going to have to kill a whole mess of villagers when we get back down. I mean... Yeah, well, you can kill all the villagers you want. I want to have friends. Well, I mean, you can have all the friends you want. Or you could have this pair of mostly destroyed leather pants. Which would you rather have? Have pants. Ow! <laughs> Not that I could have both. <laughs> <laughs> I can also have a pair of brand new steel pants if you actually killed me, but... <laughs> Let me you know, light this up a tiny bit more. Remember, so, XV is Portuguese for psychopath. I'm not surprised, no. <laughs> there. Should be able to see that from a distance now. Yeah. You should probably eat some food. You're not regenerating your health. Uh, that's a good point. Oh, God, yeah, we can see each other's health now. Yeah. Did you eat enough? You're still not regenerating. I'm at full now, according uh, to my screen. I'm going to head down and see. Yeah, the sun's getting ready to come up. And there's just a skeleton standing behind a tree staring at me. <laughs> you like, got an arrow. It's like, hey, kids, want to buy some drugs? You got an arrow. Yep. I hit his ass. I have to get over there and hit his ass again. Ow. Let's redesign skeletons so they're designed to be fought at range so that they're harder to fight close up. Me, me, me. Oh, hey, well, at least he gave me a mostly complete bow. You had a bow already. Yeah, but this one is literally, like, one point from fresh. No, wait, the other one was, too. Well, then fuck you, skeleton. Uh, yeah, it's relatively safe looking down here now. Stuff will start catching on fire in a minute. Hopefully not falling into the oil afterwards. Ooh. Ah, oh, hey, zombie. Oh, you had a lot of XP, at least. Ow, what in the fuck happened there? I attacked a grass block, and it turned out to be a slime disguised as a grass block. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is up with this place? <laughs> oh, shit, uh, shit, I found the forge pattern making shop. Uh, is that good? We can make a lot of really cool, powerful, ridiculously abusable tools with the patterns. And I'm heading towards that castle, but I'm going to wait in the courtyard for you so that we can explore together. Well, I mean, I was working my way over to the castle, too. Uh, I had to stop and get a skeleton. Ah. Uh, where's an entrance? Uh, around the side that has the door in it. Hold on, I'm heading to it so that you'll spot me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll take this tower over here and search. There's a chicken up here. Now there isn't. I hear zombies. Oh, you're over here. I don't think there's actually supposed to be a uh, tree growing in the middle of this castle. A tree grows in Brooklyn. Yes. One. Yeah, that's enough. No other trees Hello, want to. chicken. Well, I know what your hat is going to be now, and you're never going to take it off. <sighs> Let's see. How do I hat? Hey, there's really nothing in this castle that is in any way interesting. How do I hat? Uh, H. Oh. You'd think that would, you know... Right, that'll do for a while. Yeah. I just heard Endermen. Alright. This ha this city is going to require a lot of repair work, but I think it's a good home. Doesn't need that much repair work. I have no idea what in the hell this is, though, honestly. What? Is the, or this um house here that has been slightly borked and has a cauldron in the floor. Is the oil harmful? No, apparently it is not. You also are incapable of actually looking at or interacting with it. Or swimming in it. Oh, God. Want me to set it on fire? That's probably... I'm going to die in here. Um, Can't you plant blocks under you? 
No, I actually can't even jump in the oil. Crap, I just fell into. Well, all this shit is thankfully unimportant. At least your head is above water. Alright, well, I'm on my way back. Um, yeah, so you cannot jump in oil. Hmm, interesting. So never fall in oil. Uh-huh. I was about to go into the map and use the command to teleport back to my last death location. Which would have teleported me back directly into the oil. That would have not have been smart. Well, I saved myself, so, uh... How did you... Well, your head was above the oil, apparently. If your head is below the oil, you can't jump. Because that, it would not even let me jump. So, uh, moral of the story is stay out of the oil. Yeah. It makes sense. I imagine you probably wouldn't be able to swim in oil. And yeah, my thing is not auto-splitting videos.